Let's get to our closing bell exchange today. Uh, a pretty narrow day. The Dow's uh, trading range has only been about 75 points. So it's been one of those days for the U.S. equity market. David Bonson from Hightower's Bonson Group is back with us today. He's at Post 9 sitting next to Steve Sarge Guilfoyle from the street.com and Sarge 986 LLC. And by the way, don't adjust your set. Sarge's voice the way it is. He's been rooting for the Mets too, too much this weekend. <laughs> and Rick Santelli at the CME in Chicago. David Bonson, where do you see the most opportunity in this market? Well, we still believe that energy and financials, the two areas that most lagged in the first half, are where we want to be positioned. Uh, it's a bit of a contrarian indicator, particularly with all the continued talk on oil price, but we don't see investing into energy infrastructure as a story about the oil price. Going into earnings season, we think it's going to really be a strong time around financials, particularly the asset managers. So they've been out of favor. We all know the story of technology being a bit played out, and obviously the retail disasters we're seeing on our screens today. But to us, energy and financials are a great value play. And David, I know you mentioned looking at some of the harder hit sectors lately here, energy and financials. But to Rick's point about Jen and Yellen testifying, if you're of the mind that she doesn't get reappointed by the president next year, this could be her last time on Capitol Hill. Is it significant that they're trying to get this balance sheet move done in advance of that? Uh, potential and what impact do you think it's going to have? You, you know, it's a great question. I actually do think it's significant. And I spent every single time, uh, at both uh, her predecessor, Chairman Bernanke, and herself came on TV the entire time the, during the Obama administration expecting them to be more dovish than was being telegraphed. And every single time it was pretty much correct. I think right now, they have the opportunity. It's legacy setting, and I actually believe that she will do it. I think they're going to surprise markets later in the year for the first time by actually uh, accelerating that, that move with balance sheet, and I think that there will be an impact. The question is how much the market's already expecting it. But again, that issue of surprise from Central Bank, it's been a very long time since they've actually surprised us, and I expect that we'll see some of that in advance of her term potentially coming to an end.